Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another video. If you're new here, I'm Jackie and I'm a self-taught software engineer with a background in mechanical and aerospace engineering and I currently work at Amazon Prime Video. As an engineer, I wanted to film this video to share my thoughts about the impact of artificial intelligence in our profession, more specifically whether pursuing a career in software engineering is still worth it. Before we begin, I just want to say that these represent my own opinions and my own thoughts based on my experience as a software engineer in tech. I'm not an AI engineer and I speak purely from the perspective of an engineer and an AI user. The AI that I'm referring to in this video are LLM-based AIs such as ChatGPT and Devon. And lastly, I also want to encourage all of you to do your own research and to form your own opinions about the matter. Historically, technology has always taken things which are either complicated or tedious and it has abstracted them so that we don't have to deal with them on the day to day, leaving us with more free time to concentrate on other things. With more free time, we have more time to think and with more time to think, we have more ideas and we again start developing abstractions and automations which help us in our work. I see innovation as a bit of a cycle where the previous innovations help us in reaching the next innovations. And in my opinion, AI represents another loop in this cycle. AI applies more abstractions, which will help us in tackling more challenges or different challenges. So in essence, I see AI as a tool which augments our capabilities rather than replacing them. And if we think about how these LLM AIs are supposed to do that, it is by writing code. While AI can assist coding, it requires guidance to do so. Solutions beyond simple and well-documented tasks, such as, for example, implementing an algorithm, they require skill and knowledge to effectively direct the AI towards a solution. We need to ask the AI the right questions, and we can't do that unless we are technically knowledgeable ourselves. Understanding the technical side of things remains crucial, especially for edge case scenarios. So again, I think that AI is more of a tool and not the decision maker. I don't know if you guys know about this, but Dijkstra once said that computer science is not more about computers than astronomy is about telescopes. And what he was trying to say with this is that science and engineering are not about tools. They are about what you do with those tools and what you find out while using them. If we think about what a software engineer does on a day-to-day -day basis, we quickly realize that it's way more than just writing code. Being a good software engineer involves problem solving and thinking critically understanding requirements, sometimes even predicting requirements, and trusting your gut instincts. Communication is another huge thing which is very important in software engineering. Therefore, coding is a means to an end, and computers are a means to an end. What you're actually valued for as an engineer is your problem-solving abilities and the results that you deliver. It's not about how many programming languages you know. Some of the biggest innovations in humankind have come from things which have never been thought about before, or at least they had never been documented before. I realize that this might be a simplistic observation, but if LLMs are trained on past data and contrary to other types of AI, such as, for example, AGI, they're not capable of original thought and human-like intelligence, wouldn't we be missing out on a lot of originality and innovation if we were to replace all programmers with AI? That's how I see it, and in my head, it just doesn't make any sense. If you are thinking about learning how to code, then doing so online is a great and affordable way to do so. That is also how I learned how to program, and a great resource to do it is Simply Learn. Simply Learn is a great educational platform which offers a wide range of technical programs and courses. They partnered with IBM to bring you a master's program in Java full stack development. This program runs completely online. It has a duration of six months at five to 10 hours of dedication per week. The course does require having a technical degree such as a bachelor's or a master's degree in an engineering or a computer science related field. And you should have some basic programming knowledge. If you're looking for a beginner friendly course, Simply Learn has other options which are also available for you. Once you enroll in the course, the material becomes available to you and you can study it at your own pace, but you also have live classes with professionals available to you on the weekends at very different time zones. The course will cover Java, Spring and Spring Boot, AWS, React, JavaScript, MongoDB, GDBC, Maven, among other technologies. But overall, it teaches you how to build scalable, secure web applications with the support of mentorship and an online community. 
The fee for this program is £1,500, which I personally would see as an investment in myself and in my career, and that is always the best investment that you can do. On SwitchUp, which is a tech bootcamp rating website, students have rated Simply Learn 4.5 out of 5 stars, which is really good. The next cohort for the master's program starts on the 15th of May 2024. There are only a few spots left, so if you are interested, I would recommend checking it out as soon as possible, and you can use my discount code for a special discount at checkout. So thank you to Simply Learn for sponsoring this portion of the video, and best of luck if you guys decide to enroll. And now back to the video. So for the reasons that I mentioned so far, I don't think that programmers will be replaced by tools such as ChatGPT and Devon. From a job demand perspective, I think that the worst case scenario is that less entry-level and mid-level software engineers will get hired for the same amount of engineering work. And this is because of the increased efficiency that AI gives us. Perhaps a team of, let's say, five software engineers using AI can get the same amount of work done as seven engineers without AI. So a company might end up saving two headcounts here. However, we do live in a data-driven world and the reports seem to point heavily towards more AI integrations and more digital products in the future. So who is to say that that won't balance out the demand? Because you can't really productionize and maintain AI platforms without software engineers. I have to say that what actually worries me more is AGI artificial general intelligence rather than LLMs, because AGI is capable of producing original thought because they mimic human-like intelligence. So if we have machines which are capable of human-like intelligence and we achieve complete AGI, I think the conversation might look a bit different. But in that case, again, software engineering is hardly the only profession we have to worry about. Even with LLMs, I think there are many other professions which would be replaced much sooner than software engineering. In general, my view and my opinion on this is that LLM-based AIs won't be replacing software engineers, but I do think that it might have its impact on the job market and that impact could have already started. The industry has changed compared to how it was 15 years ago. If you're looking to become wealthy by just building a few apps and putting them on the App Store, that ship has definitely sailed and that's not possible anymore. But if you like logical problem solving and if you want a decent paying job with good work-life balance, then I think software engineering is a great option for that. If you are facing a career choice right now, my advice is don't let the clickbaity news articles influence you too much. And for those of us who are already software engineers, I do think that we will write less code in the future, but that doesn't mean that we won't be programming or that we won't get a job. Those are my main thoughts on the matter. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope it was useful. Again, I encourage you all to do your own research and to share your own opinion in the comments. Thank you again to Simply Learn for sponsoring a portion of this video and thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave it a like and subscribe and I will see you in my next one. Bye!